Nick Diaz versus uh, Paul Semtex Daly. How do you see that fight going in the for the Strike Force Welterweight Championship uh, in San Diego? Well, <laughs> number one, I see Nick winning. Yes. How I see him winning is anybody's guess. That's the thing. See, <laughs> I know. I can tell you what I don't see happening. I don't see Nick going out there looking for a takedown and trying to submit him because that's just Nick. I, I mean, know. everybody. That, but that's him. what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about because his Semtex has power, and I and see, I don't want I don't want Nick to get into this shooting contest, you know, strike strike shooting contest like he did with KJ Nunes. Okay, that's fine. I work with KJ. I don't know if it's going to work for Semtex. You know what? We we stopped saying that about Nick, like. Years ago, because you know that was that's was this is what we all thought when he fought Robbie Lawler. Right, right. And then he locked out Robbie Lawler, and it's like okay. And then you know he fought you know all these guys. You know he well, he's got a great chin, and he's got yeah. and he fought uh, 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 Scott Smith, and all these guys would say, oh, he's gonna take this guy down. No, he's not gonna take him down. He's gonna go in there, and he's gonna. It, it, it doesn't matter if they're a striker, if they're if they do jujitsu, whatever they do best. That's what Nick's gonna do. I know, because he wants to prove something. And he's got a great chin. It's almost like he's the anti. GSP. But this is what he does. He wants to beat him at their own game, and and uh, you, there's no convincing him. Forget it. Like, oh, do this. This is going to be smarter. No, and it turns out that it's not. It's not smarter. As he's proved us time and time again. Like, no, him going in there and doing exactly what they want to do is. Uh, I mean, he's he has success. Well, he's he, he's very good at great at everything, and he has just ridiculous cardio with the triathlons, everything like that, and he's so rangy and stuff like that, and his toughness. I mean. It's it's tough. I mean, especially over five rounds. I mean, I can see where he, as long as he doesn't get caught with something and Semtex gets lucky, I think he's going to wear him down over time. Yeah, that's the thing with Nick. He doesn't. You can't catch him. There's no like getting caught. Whether you're rolling or whether you're boxing, you can hit him, but you, he's not going anywhere. No. You see him in here. He trains with yeah. some of the best Olympic, you know, medalist, gold medalist boxers. He trains with the highest caliber of boxers, kickboxers, wrestlers, whatever, and they cannot enforce their will on him. You can hit him. He's always but he's not there. Go anywhere. It's almost like he reminds me of like a Joe Calzaghe for, in, in boxing. You know, super middleweight champ that, that I don't know if he was ever defeated really, and. It, it wasn't that he had one punch knockout power, but he would, would throw 1,000, 1,100 punches a, a match, and he was always in your face, and you just couldn't get rid of him. That's This is what Nick does. You're going you're gonna to hit him with your best shot, and then when he's still standing there in your face... You, then you gonna now do? what? You're gonna stand. You're gonna get punched. You're gonna just keep getting. You're gonna get hit with a thousand punches, and and you're gonna fold up. That's how I see. Th so it sounds like you're. It sounds like you're saying striking is gonna is gonna be what's gonna happen here. I think Nick. Nick is either gonna knock him out with with a million punches, or or Daly's gonna get submitted. One way or the other. I but, love it. But if he gets submitted, it's gonna be it's because gonna, Daly tried to take him down. Because he tried to he tried oh, to grab one. <laughs> it's not gonna. Is he gonna try to pull BJ Penn and get smoked? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna try. I don't well, know. Because BJ, because BJ went went went, went he, flipped he flipped the script. The script. <laughs> you know, we didn't expect it. But you you're not flipping the script on Nick. It's like you know. I mean, it's like Cyborg. Cyborg's like, oh, you know, let's let's take him down. Like. No, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Nick, people really underestimate him on all levels. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people really appreciate how good he is, but I, I still don't think they no, really actually cagey. know cagey. how good he Stronger is. Stronger than he looks, too. Stronger than he looks, more athletic than he looks, yeah. just everything. And the thing is, he just uh, that's the thing. The, the number one thing with the guys here, whether it be Nick, Jake, Gil, Nick, they just ref they don't they don't want, they don't want to lose. No. They refuse to lose. So it doesn't matter what position, where they find themselves in the middle of the fight. He's going to figure out a way. And the fitness level and 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 the work rate is just astounding.